It's a family of different strains of viruses causing various illnesses ranging from common cold to severe lung infections like pneumonia. It is the disease caused by a new strain of coronavirus that is SARS-CoV-2 which is severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 discovered in 2019 in Wuhan, China and this is responsible for the 2019-20 pandemic. It is thought that the virus is zoonotic in origin because the virus is closely related to the virus present in bats and pangolin. Huanan Seafood Wholesale Market is a possible point of origin for this virus. It is spread by the droplets produced in talking, coughing and sneezing from an infected person. These droplets fall on surfaces like tables, floor, etc. and others who touch the surfaces are prone to develop the disease. They can survive up to 3 days or 72 hours on such surfaces depending on the surface. Currently, there is not enough data to suggest that it can spread through such sources. Some people infected with COVID-19 might not exhibit any symptoms, while others can exhibit symptoms similar to that of regular pneumonia, like shortness of breath, fever, cough, etc. Signs and symptoms like bluish face, difficulty walking, breathing, and continuous chest pain might indicate severe disease, and such patients are advised to see the doctor immediately. Uncommon symptoms include anosmia, which is loss of smell, hemoptysis, which is coughing of blood, vomiting, and diarrhea. About 20 to 50% of COVID-19 patients are asymptomatic or without any symptoms. The incubation period is the time between catching the disease and the development of the symptoms. and the incubation period for this virus is 1 to 14 days. For mild cases, the recovery time is around 2 weeks, while it is 3 to 6 weeks for severely ill cases. It can cause severe disease and death in 1 to 3% of the affected population, especially the elderly, and those with underlying health conditions like chronic renal failure, diabetes mellitus, etc. The virus accesses the host cells through angiotensin converting enzyme 2, that is ACE2. These enzymes are quite abundant in lungs, though they are also present in small intestine, arterial and venous cells. He is diagnosed by taking a swab from the nasopharynx or sputum and lab testing of the swab or sputum by real-time reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction. A swab is inserted into the nostril, moved into the nasopharynx and the secretions are collected. Chest CT scan might be used to diagnose the disease but recommended for patients with high clinical suspicion. Supportive treatment like oxygen support, fluid infusion, etc. along with medications like paracetamol and NSAIDs, steroid therapy might be given in ARDS, which is Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome. Plasma therapy is also being explored. Some drugs like remdesivir, ivermectin, hydroxychloroquine, chloroquine, etc. have been shown to be effective in some patients, but more studies are to be done. Convalescent plasma therapy is an immunotherapy approved by FDA for severely ill COVID-19 patients. 
20%. According to the researchers in University of Cambridge, the virus underwent mutations. And as of April 15, 2020, there are three variants of this virus, type A, B, and C. Type A is the one discovered in Wuhan, China, and it is the closest one discovered in bats. Some steps to prevent this disease spread include physical distancing from others, frequent hand washing, face masks, gloves, etc. Masks certainly help in preventing the disease spread to some extent by reducing the infected person's exposure to others. PPE kits are used by first responders and healthcare workers to protect them from contracting the virus. This kit includes full body suits, gloves, safety footwear, eye protection, safety helmets, and respiratory protective equipment. The three main types of masks include homemade fabric mask, surgical mask, and N95 mask. N95 is a tight-fitting face mask which filters about 95% of the particulate matter including bacteria and viruses. So these masks are to be reserved for first responders, doctors, hospital staff who are taking care of COVID-19 patients. Yes, N99 mask filters about 99% of the particulate matter N100 mask filters about 99.97% of the particulate matter. N95 mask offers about 35% more protection than the surgical mask and 50% more protection than the homemade fabric mask. For people who rarely venture out, Reusable masks or homemade fabric masks can be used. Since there is global shortage of surgical and N95 masks, they should be reserved for people who need them most, that's doctors, nurses, etc. Isolation refers to separation of the sick people from people who are not sick. Quarantine restricts the movement of the people who have been suspected to have been exposed to the disease and do not know it or who have it and are asymptomatic. For at least 20 seconds. Soaps have been shown to remove the virus better when compared to alcohol-based wipes, gels, liquid, etc. Soap helps dissolve the lipid bilayer on the virus, which makes the virus fall apart. As of April 15, 2020, there is no available vaccine for this disease. Though this pandemic is responsible for a huge number of deaths worldwide, this is also responsible for reducing carbon emission and pollution due to reduced travel by people. Also, bringing families together and helping people realize true priorities in life and foremost being the health. During these times of distress, we as doctors felt responsible to put forward a series of Q&As on the objective facts about the ongoing situation as of today and help put people at ease when there are a lot of questions bothering everyone. This is with the hope to bring some calmness and peace be cautious, but not panic. We wish you good health for everyone.